don't study computer science until you watch this video. So computer science is a major in college that many people pursue. And people choose majors for different reasons. Computer science, in my opinion, is one of the best majors that you can choose. So if you've already chosen computer science and you've already decided that this is what I'm gonna do with my life, I want to work at a place that requires a computer science degree, or maybe you want to be a computer scientist, you wanna get a PhD and do great things in the world. That's fine, but I think you should know what you're getting yourself into when you go into computer science. So again, I just wanna state that I think computer science is one of the best degrees you can get because it's, it's so employable. There are so many jobs out there that require a computer science degree and there's so many opportunities. People are always going on about how, you know, it's saturated. Oh, by X year, there's not gonna be any programming jobs or by this year, there's not gonna be. People always say those things about everything. Those are just dramatic headlines. They are people's opinions. They are people's statements. It does not make them true. I don't believe any of that. In fact, I still feel we are in the infancy of the computer world. So computer science is a great degree. It's worth doing. The second thing you should know about computer science is that it's not just programming. I think a lot of people like coding and so they go into computer science and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, you know there, there is nothing wrong with that. But just know that you are gonna have to take some really challenging classes on subjects that you might not like. You might have to take some mathematics, discrete mathematics, for example. Most computer science majors are required to take two courses on discrete math. I took the first one. I thought it was a great course, but you know, by the second test, half the class was gone. So computer science does require some mathematics, right? You do have some math you have to do. You also have to take other courses and other topics that aren't just coding, right? So it's not all fun and games. You're gonna struggle, it's gonna be a battle. That's not to say that if you love coding, you shouldn't do it. I think that if you love programming, computer science is a good choice even if you don't like the math, even if you don't like the other stuff. You know, I had this friend from the internet. He was one of my internet friends in the late 90s, early 2000s. Young, young guy, a little bit younger than I was. And he went to college for computer science. And he was a self-taught coder, an OG nerd, you know, the real deal. IRC nerd, we used to hang out on IRC and talk all the time, great guy. And he was barely passing his classes. And I would lecture him. I would say, man, you got to focus on your grades, you know? So he's an example of a person who got his computer science degree and barely made it. So you might be wondering what happened to this guy, this guy who studied, but not enough, who struggled, but didn't really succeed. I mean, he made it, C's get degrees, right? The key part about this guy is that the reason he was failing is because his parents wouldn't help him for college. They wouldn't help him pay. And they made just a little bit too much money to qualify for government aid. So he had to work full time and go to college at the same time. And he worked at a job where he coded. That's all he did. He was, they called them code monkeys back then. I don't know if that's a term used anymore, but he used to call himself, oh, I'm just a code monkey. He was just a programmer. And that's all he did. And he worked so much that it hurt his grades. And I used to tell him, man, you should just quit that job 
take out government loans and go to school. That's what I did. I took out loans, took on a bunch of debt, got my math degree. I mean, it worked out for me. I'm not saying you should do that. But that's what I did. So I tried to I told him to do what I did. And he refused to take out loans. He refused to quit his job. He kept grinding and he barely got his degree. And you know what happened to him? His first job out of college, he was making like 65K. And that was a lot back then. He graduated years ago. Then he got an interview for another job in another state starting at 110. And this was a long time ago. Right, this was years ago, so who knows how much he's making now and where his life is now. So this is a guy who barely made it through computer science. So even if you just like coding, just know that it's not just programming, but if you make it, if you get the degree, if you get the piece of paper and you have some skills, you can be like my friend and you can get a job. It was those work experience skills that led him to have so much success. So I think that computer science is a degree for someone who genuinely loves computers, genuinely loves programming, who really wants to work in the field, that is the most important thing, right? If, if you really like working with computers, you should do it. If you don't like working in front of a computer, if you're not a computer person, if you feel like you just don't like it, it's probably not a good idea because the reality of life is this, no matter what degree you get, you're gonna have to go to work. And at the end of the day, you, you want to pick something that you love, if you can love it, or that you don't hate. So if you can picture yourself in front of a computer several hours a day coding or doing other tasks, if you can picture yourself working on some aspect of computer science every day in a job, then it's probably something you should pursue. But if it's something you can't picture yourself doing, then, then don't do it. The last thing you want to do is get a degree and then have a job you hate. And you know, if that happens, Say you get a computer science degree and you get a job and you hate it. It's okay. At least you have a degree. And honestly, with a degree in anything, there's plenty of jobs out there. But computer science is one of those degrees, I think, that just really opens up the door for a lot of opportunities, you know? A lot of opportunities. So if you're working on your CS degree now and you're struggling, keep going. If you're thinking about doing it, my advice would be, if you love computers, do it. And honestly, I think that the more a person loves computers, the more a person loves working with the machine, the more a person loves coding, the more a person loves all the aspects of computing, how it works, you know, everything, all, all the, the software, maybe even the hardware, whatever you really love about it, if you really love it, it's going to help you. As cliche as it sounds... The whole do what you love mentality is really, I think, one of the best ways to live your life. Do what you love. And if you happen to be a person who loves computers and computer science and everything related to it, then I think you should consider yourself a very lucky person because it is one of the best degrees out there, my friends. Do not let people say it's saturated, right? People are always saying, oh, the field is saturated. AI is taking over. That's fine. You can be involved in that. And computer science is a way to do that. There's always a trend. Every few years, there's some trend. Every five years, every, every year is a trend, but every five years, there's some societal trend on what's the latest job, what's the latest thing, what's the popular thing. But computer science has been here for a while. And it's going to be here for a lot longer. It's older than math. You know, and if you think about it, the, old, the older, the first, you know, a lot of the OG computer scientist people these were math guys. Some of these guys had math PhDs, right? It came from mathematics, right? You know, my, my original major in college was computer science. I, you know, it took me, it took me over a year. I was a double major for over a year before I said, hey, you know what? I, I'm, I'm just, I'm going to give up computer science. And, and by the way, the reason I gave up computer science I don't know if I've ever talked about it, but the reason I decided to, to ditch computer science and go to math is because I wanted to teach. I, I thought, if I'm going to be teaching mathematics, what's the point of knowing all this computer science knowledge? That's one reason. The second one was I didn't want to take all those classes. I needed like 10 more hardcore computer science classes to get that double major. I just didn't have the energy. I didn't have the energy because math is so hard, right? Advanced calculus is so hard. Topology is so... So I had... I just, I just didn't have it in me at the time. I wanted to focus just on one thing. 
and no regrets, right? So I think when you focus on one thing, I think that is better. Nothing wrong against double majors, but it's it's single tasking is better. And something like math is is extremely hard. You know, if you can be good at math and computer science, if you can be a master, you know, they, they call those people unicorns. I had a friend who was, uh, I'll tell you the short story really quick. I had a friend who uh, was in a math class once. I think it was an advanced calculus class. And the CIA came in and they told them that they were looking for people who were really good at mathematics, physics, or computer science. This is for the CIA, right? I don't know what kind of job it was, but they were saying that they were looking for people who were exceptional in those fields, math, computer science, and physics, one of those three. And so it was a special visit to the college to recruit people from these specific fields. Weird, right? And they said that if they can find people that are good at any of the two, any any two of the three, so math, computer science, or physics. So if you're good at any of, of those two, if you're really good at like math and physics or really good at physics and computer science or math and computer science, those people are so rare that they had a nickname for them in the CIA. They called them unicorns. And that kind of agrees with kind of why I left computer science. It's, it's hard to be really, 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 really good at two things, right? Like really like a professional at two. It's very, very hard. And when you think about it, a lot of these people who created computer science, a lot of the founders of computer science, they were exactly that, right? They were math people who created computer science. So anyways, going on a tangent here, computer science is worth it. It's a beautiful subject. Um, it's a beautiful field. You know, if you're going in into it just for the money, I'm not going to say that's wrong, but I'm going to say that I hope you like it, right? I hope you like it. It's better to do something you love. It really is. That's all I want to say in this video. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. Check out my math books and math courses and motivational books. Links are all in the description. As always, stay strong, my friends.